first day of uh, early fox and coyote trapping. Down this uh, woods road, down there there's an intersection. We got three sets down in there, or actually two sets down in there. This is the third one. Uh, just the logging road through this woods. And uh, I'm in the middle of the road on the high part. And I'm just going to put a, uh, probably a double dirt hole in here, walk through, double dirt hole. And, uh, hopefully we'll get them coming, there's a three, like I said, there's a three-way intersection down there, so hopefully we'll get them if they come down any of the roads. And, uh, we have a southerly wind today, so we want to make sure that our, uh, wind isn't blowing in our favor. It's blowing southerly right now at about 10 miles an hour, and it's going to switch to the northwest wind at about 15 miles an hour before tomorrow morning. So, when we're checking traps, the wind will be blowing in a completely opposite direction, but it works for us because it blows, it's blowing that way, and then it'll be blowing that way. So, it works, and I'll get back to you when the set's all in. We got, we, uh, got the set all done. And uh, this is what it looks like. You got a little bit of grass over there, a little bit of duff over there, two dirt holes, two different smells, and traps bedded right there. It's a uh, Bridger number three, uh, outside laminated. Dead nuts in the center of this trail. They come down either side of this logging road. They should smell that. And uh, the little pieces of uh, grass and duff and stuff, we'll direct them right through. They'll sniff one, and then they'll walk through, put their foot there to sniff that one, and get caught. Well, that's the theory anyways. So uh, we got a bunch more sets to put in, so catch you on the next one. You guys should recognize this location from last year. So we caught the big coyote that uh, weighed 53 pounds. Uh, just alongside of Beaver Stream. Uh, old Logan Road. Comes up. Goes out through there. And coyotes use it to travel through here. There's a giant ridge right there. So you're just down here. They're running between the ridge and the creek. And Put in a dirt hole set over there like we did last year and hopefully we can uh, get one even bigger maybe a 55 pound coyote all right so i know it's a little on the windy side it's blowing about 15 miles an hour but uh that right there is a trail that uh runs down to the bottom of the hill and we're up here on the top of the hill and uh, in the winter times, I pre bait the coyotes over there. And uh, this is where they travel to get to the pre baits. <coughs> so uh, we're going to stick a set in right here. And uh, we got this natural stepping stick right there. So hopefully, they'll come down through that trail right through there. And uh, on their way down, they'll put their foot right in there, and hopefully we'll have a bouncing coyote here pretty soon. So uh, I'll get this set put in, and I'll show it to you after. Pretty much everybody knows how I put in my sets, so I'll just show you the before and after pictures or videos. So, set's all finished up. Right down there is the uh, trail again. Double dirt hole walk through. Big stick right there. Hopefully they're going to step right there when they investigate. Pretty tight quarters in here. So hopefully when they work this set, they will uh, work it the way we want. And they'll step right there in the center and end up in that number two. Well, that's the hope. So we're going to lure this up with some... Uh, bait and lure and see what happens so this here is a uh, another location it's kind of a uh, interesting one 
We're still on the edge of this uh, gully here, but we have this giant rock pile. And what it is is a vantage point for the fox and the coyotes. They can get up on there and uh, see for a long, long ways. So what we're going to do is since it's so rocky, you can't get a stake in here. So we're just going to run a drag to this tree, pre-tangle it, and uh, make a little flat set right on top. Some mouse bait. That's primarily what they're hunting out here is mice and squirrels. So put a little bit of mouse bait that I make out and a nice good lure. And uh, hopefully next fox or coyote that comes to look at this vantage point will step in this number three. So the set's all put in. And uh, try to keep it as natural as possible. Trap's right there in between these three rocks. Chain runs down to that tree. She's pre-tangled right there. Got a little bait hole right there. We're going to throw some uh, of my mouse bait in there with some uh, Hod's Lures Kamikaze. And uh, hopefully this one will produce as well. And uh, I think this makes set number 21 or 22. So still one more property to set up. Should be checking two dozen sets by the end of the day, or on tomorrow's check. And uh, this is uh, Monday. I actually didn't get these sets in until today. Uh, yesterday was Sunday, the opener. Today's the 16th of October. And uh, we didn't catch nothing this morning, opening morning. And uh, I missed a gray fox. <clears throat> and a set over there through the woods, maybe 50, 60 yards. So they're around. It's just getting to them. Down there in the valley, I don't know if I can show y'all or not, but it's really, really thick pine grove in there. And the deer bed in down in there. So the coyotes run. down and through there so hopefully that'll show up for you guys but there's the set we're gonna put some lure on it and that'll be that and we'll check the sets tomorrow and hopefully bring you some catches have a good one guys there he is hiding big old coon Dirt hole set in front of that log. Duke number four. Hind foot catch. Yeah, I'm a little out of breath, but it's a coon. Good deal. This folks right here is why I like my number fours. Perfect high back foot catch. That coon was not going anywhere whatsoever. Well, this will happen sometimes. And pull out. In that same set as we got the coon in yesterday. There's some hair in the jaws. I'd say. Was another coon. But we'll get reset and hopefully we'll catch the little bug in tomorrow. Picked up another coon. In a uh, trash pile set. In a uh, bridge number two. And that is a big coon. Set on the edge of this travel way. Farm lane there, field over there, and we finally picked him up. So get him dispatched and remake the set and carry on.